Every time I create a project in Blender, I reach that point where the viewport is just crawling along and doing anything takes forever. So in this video, I'll show you every way you can optimize the Blender viewport. The first method is to disable as many modifiers and geometry node setups as you can, because in my tests, these are by far the biggest performance killers. Next, the second one is that for high-res objects, you can set the display as dropdown in the object properties to bounce. This as well can be hugely helpful for performance. But if you prefer to still be able to see the general shape of the object, then you can try the next method, which is basically just automatically replacing the model with a very light proxy. To do this, go to the geometry nodes tab and add in a distribute points on faces node. Then plug the geometry input into the mesh and the points into the geometry output. After doing that, you will already see that your performance has improved. But now there is another problem because the proxy doesn't get disabled on final render. So to fix that, add a switch node and plug the geometry input into the false socket, the points into the true socket. And to make it, you know, actually switch between the two versions, connect an is viewport node to the switch socket. And that's the geo node setup done. In my experience, this method is a bit hit or miss, but you can improve it by reducing the density of the particles. Now onto the next method, which is probably the most convenient of them all because it affects all objects at once. So go to the render properties and enable simplify. Then in the viewport section, you'll want to slide all settings to zero, except the volume resolution, which I recommend keeping it slightly above zero or else it will make all smoke sims in the scene unrecognizable. This method can help a lot, especially if you have a lot of subdivision surfaces, child particles or high risk smoke sims in the scene. Before we move on to the next method, if you're watching this video, I assume you care about speed. So if you want to render your animations with less samples while retaining a similar level of quality, then check out my temporal animation stabilization node group for the Blender compositor. It works by combining either three, five or seven frames into the current frame and thus will temporally stabilize flickery animations. It's available for just $1 on my Gumroad. So if that sounds interesting, check it out. But now the next method to optimize the Blender viewport is a little bit more desperate, but sometimes it needs to be done because this one works by duplicating the object that causes problems, disabling the original object in the viewport and the duplicate in the render. All right, so when I originally recorded this, I forgot to mention that this I button here doesn't really disable the object in the viewport. It just hides it, but it still gets calculated in the background. So what you'll want to do instead is to go up here and enable this TV icon here and then use that to disable the object. But now back to the video. Now to make the one that's displayed in the viewport more performant, apply all modifiers and decimate it as much as you can. You could also just disable the original object in the viewport and leave it at that. By the way, this also goes for ones that have particle systems on them because I found that even if you disable the particle system, they will still somehow get calculated in the background and slow down the viewport. So if you have objects with particles on them, just disable them. But now onto the last two methods. And the first one isn't even really an optimization, but if after all of that, you still couldn't get to a solid 24 FPS, then you can just set the playback sync type to frame dropping so that at least the timing will be correct. The last method is to select the object you want to work on and press the slash key, which will then disable all the objects except the selected one, which in turn will boost performance. Oh, and to exit this mode, just press the slash key one more time. But that's it. Your viewport should now be playing back at a solid 24 frames per second. If it isn't, then either your scene is just too heavy or you may have missed a few objects. But if this video helped at all, then please consider subscribing or check out this video next. I really have a hard time saying subscribing.